He has relatives who don't even help him. And uh, I think somebody at the health center has been lying to him that they'll come for him with the help, and there's no help that has come. Um, I think they keep on promising him, oh, just stay at home, don't worry, we, we care, and we are going to come and help you. And nothing happens. So he keeps on waiting for them to come and nothing happens. And in the process of waiting, he develops the fits and, and he falls and he hurts himself. And then the jiggers take advantage and, and, and uh, you know, afflict those wounds. And then eventually then uh, it was uh, epilepsy. Now it becomes epilepsy plus jiggers. So then... Um, he then has no life. You lose your life when one problem leads to another. And eventually, Joseph now has two conditions that are astigmatic. They can't fathom the type of um, uh, life he has because, according to what I know, he has no life. Just jiggers alone are, are a problem. And... Um, mm, and uh, epilepsy is a problem and he has both so these are people who are living but they are like you know they are living as if they are dead and uh, because of that the community around them doesn't even support them and uh, eventually they they die like you know they fall in, in fire and they are burned or in water or something happens and we have pretentious tears being shed shared by those who should have helped and did nothing and that is why in my craziness I don't um, buy into that um, hypocrisy of people who come crying when somebody has passed on and they were supposed to help this person and they didn't I normally ask them to please shut up and get out of there and I don't think I have apologies for doing that uh, because it's so frustrating to see people shedding crocodile, crocodile tears. Crocodile tears in our culture mean that a crocodile, somebody falls in water and the crocodile cries. Uh, but actually he, the crocodile is happy because that is food. That's what it means. In, in the Western culture it means a lot of tears. But in African culture, it means pretendious tears. And people in that community will always come out to pretend if anything happens to this man. And they will look like they are so sorry and they have lost their son. And they will speak some very nice things about him. I normally dismiss that. Uh, I have been on the forefront um, fighting some of the nonsensical things that go on in our culture. I don't really stand and watch when I see mediocrity being exercised and um, being uh, mated upon people. And uh, those doing that will receive my wrath because I will always uh, rise up as the calling is. I will rise up to rebuke mediocrity, mediocre behavior. And um, I'm happy to report that uh, through the course of our work we have managed to rebuke some things that were going on and now they have reduced or they have disappeared. Uh, chief among them being the menace, the Jiga menace that was so much hidden and frowned upon by people to the extent of them hiding victims of Jika attack. And the main casualties were people with health conditions like the special cases who were hidden behind houses because of the embarrassment, quote unquote, that they brought to the family. Silently there was a feeling that um, a mother gave birth to a disabled child because of the sin 
that she had committed in her life, either before or during pregnancy. And there was a silent fallacy that was extended across African villages and even urban centers that um, really tried to explain the, the special condition um, found in, in a child. They said maybe the mother misbehaved during pregnancy or sometimes they even said the parents of this daughter, this woman, misbehaved and so God was punishing them by um, giving them a, a grandchild who has a disability. And so uh, they blamed the disability on, on someone else. And uh, the people who were blamed were affected psychologically. They thought they should own the, uh, the result of their bad actions so that they look at uh, somebody who is a special case among us to them in their midst as a well-deserved punishment. And so they then get embarrassed by the same and they wish this punishment then leaves them earlier, the earlier the better. So it led to uh, people just looking on us. People suffered, people finding reason to stigmatize and malign uh, some conditions, um, making others look more sinful. Because human beings have a tendency to point out the weakness of others and make fun of it so that they, they can look better. They imagine that by pointing out the foibles of Jim Duruchi, then they, they are better off. The truth is that I have my foibles and you have yours. Um, my weakness doesn't make you strong. Um, you're still human and you have your own crap that you need to take care of and the more you get engaged with the mind the more I know you have things you're hiding of something you're hiding did to eventually come up to me to peroxide let her peroxide John those who are engaged in the lives of others have something to hide. They have serious issues that they battle with. And they want to hide um, their own weakness, their own internal torment by being uh, very involved with the weakness of others. So when you have a neighbor who is always sniffing and peeping and asking questions, that neighbor is not necessarily a thief. The neighbor has a deeper problem. Maybe they have a marriage problem and uh, they are jealous somehow. They think that you are doing better as a couple when it's only the airs, you just put up the wind. But deep inside you also have issues. It's only that maybe you reconcile quickly or you let go of one of the persons in, in, the, in the union compromises a lot for the sake of the children or the sake of the properties and things they have accumulated together or for the sake of their image because maybe they are members of society that uh, are respected blah 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 it is it is so if you have this neighbor who is always trying to peep um, they have their own issue and so we get Joseph with these conditions and he hasn't uh, been helped to 
overcome the first one which led to the second one. But what also comes out now is that uh, we must help him with the epilepsy issue so that he can be jigger free and that is where we rise up society comes in to go out of our way to make sure that um, he is well so that the jiggers don't come back uh, our mode operante is around the jigger and uh, somebody was talking about us meddling in the in relationships of people and and blah 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 we don't even meddle in people's relationships we are not even relationship experts we are simply jigger diggers we dig the jigger and relationship becomes important to us if we discover that uh, one member of the family is not there and that is what is bringing the jigger problem then we get engaged in that we then encourage reconciliation we then try to find out what really happened and we get involved in a deeper sense to just help um, the family get together and our interest is not even the marriage the interest is the children who have the jigger issue Okay. 